Hey guys, it's Will here, and it's finally come in the uh, Kickstarter from Chronicle Cards uh, Part 2. So this came in, which now gives me hope that uh, if they continue to do it themselves, I can recommend at least that you can uh, feel safe to kickstart these things when they do them, and you'll get stuff that's high quality for a good price. Uh, the nice thing is I didn't have to pay any import fees, all that stuff was taken care of. The guys who make this stuff uh, are really good at that, so recommend checking this site out. If I remember, the link will be down below. I still got a link for uh, my army box at the point of this video recording. So we're going to look into this and give my thoughts on these. Let's go into that. So here we go guys, we have the Wolf Bristle brush set. This was the post Kickstarter from the original one. Uh, the reason why it's not open for review is because one, we've already review reviewed this. So make sure to check out that video, which I might have up here. And two, this is a gift for a friend. Uh, he's been on the channel before. So this is gonna go to him. It was originally for his Christmas present, but it just came in now. So it's gonna be the, uh, another gift. So just. Yeah, delayed Christmas gift for him. Now on the inside here, they did change up the back here a bit. They actually now have guaranteed like actual described what you get in actual numbers. So you do get a little less brushes and the brushes uh, to compare the two, uh, I have my Kickstarter version of the, the pack here. And as you can see, it is, it is definitely a lot, you know, bigger can actually technically it can actually fit inside it can actually fit inside the container and on the back of this one you have the kickstarter sticker and it doesn't say how many of the brushes you get so it says you're supposed to get 10 but as we saw in that last video i got way more now i don't know how much more was from you know, the Kickstarter level I got, the extra brushes I asked for. And now we're gonna get into the actual real thing. One of the real things we have is the brush. I got the brush, which came with a free item, which I chose the dry brush palette, which also has a little brush holder. This is hard resin, like poor resin. So it almost feels kind of like soapy dish, but you could use this as like a soap dish or on this side, I know it's supposed to be a dice tray, but it's loud. So you can use this as a impromptu wet palette if you get a little thin sponge. Uh, I think I'm going to use this as a, you can even use it because of the resin texture. You could use this as like a, uh, a dry palette to pour paint onto and then clean off. But I think I'm going to use this side for either as a wet palette for one time uses or if I'm at a friend's house or something. Or um, the most re reasonable one I'm probably going to use it for is the... Um, I'm going to use it for holding bits when I build models because it's super bright. It's easy to see so I can build over top of it. As you can see, it's really nice. I got this color because, as you can see through the light, I got this color because it reminds me of the ooze from uh, Ghostbusters. So I call this the New York slime color. So I'm excited for this. Um, it is definitely a vanity item. Not highly necessarily needed, but when it came with the it came with the Kickstarter, so might as well. So here we have the new soap. This is supposed to be really good for their, um, you know, uh, synthetic brushes, which is what the Kickstarter was for. And as you can see, we have a list of ingredients. So if you are have any of those sort of allergies, that's what you have in there. You could probably use the internet to search up what they mean. Now I got two of these loose. Uh, as another part of my Kickstarter, I could select things for free. Um, I did have a mix-up where I didn't want... I accidentally clicked something instead of getting a thing I wanted. And I wanted just two extra, two brush soaps. Because uh, there was bath bombs you get that looked like a purity seal from Warhammer. Uh, there's um, the wet palette, some dice, other little things here and there that, that, that they had. And I just want soap. Because these brushes are really hard to get where I live. So I wanted to make sure I can keep them lasting as long as I could. So that's what we have here. So I'm just going to open this up. And it's this really nice green. And feeling it. It's got the same 
feel as the um, the other soap that they have. And the nice thing about these being small is you don't really need much soap to clean your brushes, especially if you're really cautious with them. Uh, the nice thing is they can fit, and they're designed to fit, inside your tube. So there's that. So we got that on the side. I put my one brush, br brush, brush soap away into the into my toolbox. Now this other thing, this is the thing I didn't want by accident, but I guess they still sent it to me. So thank you guys for that. Uh, I'll try it out. Now this is a weird thing. This is something I don't think I'd ever need, especially since if you have a wet palette. But this is supposed to be like a dampening sponge and a wetting pal like palette. So you don't use it to say necessarily what your paints with. What you do is you use it to help control your um, moisture on your brush before you select your paints if you're using a dry palette. So if say you have a dry brush you need to dry off or you have a little bit too much water on a brush but you want to keep it like wet, it's just container with a sponge that you can uh, close up and stuff. It's a unique idea if you play a lot of like bolt action or other miniature games that's not Warhammer that has foam, you can basically just use the foam on that. It's a container, it's cool, it's got their symbol on it. Again, this is a super gimmick item. Do I recommend it? Unless you're doing professional painting where you live in a place like Australia or like near the equator where the humidity can be fucky. Using just your wet palette or, you know, a paper towel in your water, like where I live, it's very, the humidity is very controlled so I don't have to worry about it messing my paints or drying out. You're fine, but it's cool, I'll try it out. Then now onto the piece that you've all been waiting for. Now onto the part that you guys have all been waiting for, the brush. So now this one is the same size as the last two that came in. So that larger packaging, though unfortunately did not have the Kickstarter sticker on it. So kind of sag on that, but I know it's from Kickstarter. It's a larger container, so I'll know for the future. Future looking at it, what, what version this is. So we got this theme is a tiger because it's synthetic brushes. It's a Terminator tiger. And their uh, little trailer for this was sick. So let's see what we are, the packaging says we get. So you get 12 brushes. Uh, Teclon uh, dry brushes in a velvet pouch just like the others. So just like this one. And let's see, you're supposed to get five round dry brushes uh, that are extra small to extra large. Three flat from small to medium of small medium and large two angle dry brushes small and large and two detail brushes zero and seven the seven is kind of eh i didn't like their original seven from the wolf brush as we heard in the last one we'll see how this one works out the zero though on the other hand is actually a nice touch and then also close the 3d stuff and a link to the website here so let's right open it Boop. lid now these are synthetic brushes, so I don't think I need to drill holes in this to air it out and control the moisture of the bristles. So we're not going to do that. So opening this, we have a big old brush here. So, ooh, it's nice and soft. So we have our first sort of brush here. And then we have our bag. Which it's whole. <coughs> oh, the smell of paint is strong. Oh, have it is actually just white. It's not a silver or a gold. It's just white. So uh, it kind of meets what I thought it would be. And there's more plastic in there. Then of course we have. So we have a piece of paper for those who made this. Might be your first video. This t these tips here are really good for your normal just brushes too. So take a second here to look this over. There's nothing else left in the container. I like to keep the soaps together with the brushes that they're allegedly supposed to be for. Got one brush. We got 
two brush. We have our A1, so our rounded dry brush. Two angled, another rounded, another rounded. Up and the other brushes. So, looking at these quickly here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve brushes in here. We have some of our rounded or our flat ends. So it looks like almost like they burnt the edge, but it's kind of got this cool tiger look effect, and it's very soft, very soft bristles, like almost like a makeup brush. And very flexible, as you can see, I'm just do, 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 abusing the shit out of it. And it's it's flexing back. So that's going to be interesting to use. Then we have our detailed brushes. So F is for flat, R is for round, A is for angled. So here's our 7 and our, one, our 0. Uh, zero I'm probably not going to use. I have the other one. I'll leave that in the bag. Uh, the seven on the other hand, let me check it out here. It's better, actually. I don't hate this as much. It does flatten out like that. But if I'm painting a large surface, like over a face or skin, this works pretty well and it's flexing back. And not bad for, you know, me just playing with it. And then we're going to look at a round brush, which is in one of these bags. So I guess because they couldn't fit a lid on it. And it's the same now. And it's also really smooth. So now why do you, why do you have, so now why, why do you have these different brushes? So, uh, for my limited knowledge, why you'd have these brushes, I think I might do a, a why painting stuff in the future along with my model guide uh, series. If you guys want some good advice on how to dry brush and stuff, Miniac does a good video series on that. You know, Duncan Rhodes does videos. Um, so check those out. In the end, would I highly recommend these brushes? If you can afford them, and if you can get them, uh, yes. Uh, if they're any good, like the other brushes, they're going to last a good long time. They're going to take the beating. They're going to be easy to clean and just last you a good while. Um, if not, unlike the other brushes where I'd say I highly recommend the Wolf brushes and the, the Kalinsky Sable brushes, these ones I'd say unless you want to keep the theme or you live in an area in Europe that stocks these constantly or you can get them on a good sale or you just, you know, want to buy somebody a gift who's a model painter or other sort of non-traditional painter, I'd say you're good with just cheap makeup brushes still. But if you want to up your game, get that good accuracy, get that good quality, a thing that will last you a while and you're not constantly swapping out brushes, get these guys. But with that, thank you for watching. Uh, I'll have another update video about these in the future and then we'll talk about how they actually work. But I'm going to go and charge this camera and upload or download the other videos I recorded too. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Click the video. Click it. Click the video. You know you want to. Click it.